We'll go back now to uh, artificial intelligence, but in a complete different environment, which is uh, healthcare. So, Alan, over to you. Well, thank you so much, Patrick. My name is Alan, the CEO and the co-founder of a company called Hippogriff from Sweden, and we are active in healthcare. I'm humbled to be part of this panel and would like to thank Capgemini and World Policy Conference for inviting me. I would like to start by giving you a little bit of background and basically why I'm here today. Every day when we wake up, we have a choice. We can focus on what's right with our lives, or we can focus on what's wrong with our lives. I believe focusing on what's right with our lives rather than focusing on what's wrong with our lives is the best way to fix what's wrong with our lives. Moreover, focusing on what's right with the world is the best way to fix what's wrong with the world. For me, everything started from a tragedy a few years ago. My grandmother got a heart attack at my cousin's birthday and suddenly died. Imagine how tragic it was. She didn't have any signs or symptoms and died just in a moment. So the birthday party, which everyone was happy and celebrating an anniversary of a person's existence, turned to a funeral. Looking at the statistic, heart disease is number one killer all around the world. In fact, every two seconds, a person dies from heart disease. But the problem is not the disease itself. It's the late detection of the disease that kills most of the people. So basically, many people don't know they're sick until it's too late, like my grandmother. So after the sudden death of my grandmother, it changed my worldview and created a big question mark. I was thinking why there was no way to detect her disease in an earlier phase, and what if we could save her life? So, that was the ignition to start developing our innovation, which is called Heart Strings, a life-saving tool that uses artificial intelligence to detect heart disease before it gets late. So what happens today when you have a symptom? You go to doctors, they examine you, take a blood test, ECG, and in many cases, send you for angiography operation, which is very expensive and invasive. But in many cases, angiography is not necessary. This unnecessary operation translates to 100 billion euros in additional cost each year. And that's enough to cover the whole budget of Sweden this year. On the other hand, there are a lot of data generated before angiography. So we believe that we could utilize the existing data and turn it to a valuable insight. If you just think about it, a huge amount of data is generated every single day in any sector. Imagine how the world would look like if we employ machine intelligence in the right way and through, through appropriate policies. This can lead to industrial transformation and significant improvements in all sectors because everything is connected. Imagine how impactful it can be for us as humans. So in our case, the question was, how should we do that? How can we address one of the greatest challenges of healthcare with what already exists and with what we have? And that's the point. We are living in a period of time that we have access to advanced technologies and high quality infrastructure that can empower us to tackle the challenges which we are facing. So we developed our unique artificial intelligence algorithm that uses the existing parameters, like electrocardiogram and demographic data, to detect heart disease at a significantly earlier stage, even if the patient doesn't have any symptoms. Well, I'm proud that a project which was started a few years ago just because of curiosity have been validated in two different clinical trials and tested with more than 46,000 patients successfully. And this resulted in receiving several national and international awards and recognitions. And now, today, thanks to my interdisciplinary team of cardiologists, doctors, and computer scientists, we are offering a technology which is two times more accurate, 10 times faster, and 49 times ch cheaper than the existing methods, which can serve millions of people each year. And exactly this gives us confidence that we are not only the next innovative company, but a venture. A venture with social mission. 
we believe that we can transform the quality of healthcare for every individual. Our vision is to save at least one million lives each year. You know, when you lose someone that you love, you realize the value of every single moment you could be with them. We're building a movement to save those valuable moments. From the stage of World Policy Conference, I would like to invite all of you to join us to save millions of lives. Thank you. Thank you.